Here, we'll show you how to find the seven periods on the periodic table. Periods are also called rows. Rows or periods on the periodic table are horizontal. The first period, called period 1, contains elements 1 and 2, hydrogen and helium. Notice period 1 contains only two elements. The second period, called period 2, contains elements 3 to 10, lithium to neon. Count the number of elements in period 2. You can see it contains 8. The third period, called period 3, contains elements 11 to 18, sodium to argon. If you count, you can see that period 3 also contains 8 elements. The fourth period, called period 4, contains elements 19 to 36, potassium to krypton. Count the number of elements in period 4. you'll see there are 18. The fifth period, called period 5, contains elements 37 to 54, rubidium to xenon. Count the number of elements in period 5. You'll see there are also 18. Period 6 is a little different. It starts with elements 55 to 57, cesium to lanthanum, and then it proceeds down here to element number 58, cerium. It includes elements 58 to 71 in this row at the bottom, cerium to lutetium. Then it proceeds back up here to element 72, hafnium, and continues with elements 72 to 86, hafnium to radon. So all the elements shaded in yellow here belong to period 6. Now count all the elements in period 6. You can see there are 32 elements altogether in period 6. You may be wondering why period 6 elements are arranged in this strange way. This will be explained to you in future chemistry courses. At this point, just remember that period 6 contains elements 55 to 86. Period 7 starts with elements 87 to 89, francium to actinum, and then proceeds down here to element number 90, thorium. It includes all the elements from 90 to 103, thorium to lawrencium. Then it proceeds back up here to element 104, rutherfordium. And it includes the rest of the elements in this horizontal row, elements 104 to 109, rutherfordium to mitnerium. So all of the elements shaded in yellow here belong to period 7. The periodic table you're given ends here at element 109, mitnerium. However, this table was published quite a while ago. Since then, more new elements have been discovered. These include elements 110 to 118, dumstradium to unionoctium. Because of their position, you can see that they, too, would belong to period 7. If we counted all the elements shaded in yellow, we would see that period 7 would contain 32 elements. Here is a periodic table showing all 7 periods and the elements they contain. You may want to pause the video, take a screenshot of this, and print it. Mm -hmm.